What's up guys? So today we're doing something a little bit different. Today we're talking about amp clamps. So I'm gonna talk about amp clamps, how do we use them, what do they read, and what the hell do all of these numbers mean here at the bottom? Go ahead and get your amp clamps guys, get your voltmeter, your scope, whatever you're gonna use. I'm gonna show you guys how to set these up. So here are the ones that I keep on my diagnostic cart. Here's a low amp clamp from Altel, a high amp clamp from Altel, and then I also have a snap on one with banana jacks that's really good and easy to use with the voltmeter. So this one from Altel has a max of 65 amps. This one has a max of 650 amps, and this one has a max of 40 amps. Even though they have a rating, you can use these for a higher amperage. The only thing is they're not gonna be that accurate. So if I wanna use this on a 1000, I could definitely use it on a 1000. The only, the only problem is it's not gonna be 100% accurate. So to give you guys a better picture, I set my amp clamp to 100 millivolts equals one amp. I put a jumper wire for the dome light. The dome light is on, and your voltmeter gets set to volts DC. So I'm getting a draw of 76 millivolts. That's the equivalent of 760 milliamps. So this one circuit is drawing 762 or 61 milliamps. So on this one, I'm gonna use my Altel amp clamp set to one millivolt per 10 milliamps. This means we're gonna multiply by 10 on whatever voltage reading we get on our, on our uh, DVOM. Always make sure that you zero out your amp clamp near the circuit. Make sure that you get it to 100% zero before you clamp it around the wire. With my amp clamp set around the wire, I'm getting a reading of negative 630 milliamps. The reason it's negative is because my amp clamp is on backwards. If I just reverse the polarity, notice how it goes positive. But again, it's 660-ish uh, milliamps, and that's going to be the total draw for the circuit. So you might be wondering why is it that we use two different amp clamps on the same circuit and they were different well the bulb was on for a good four to five minutes in between tests so that bulb heated up and changed the resistance that's normal okay but you can see that using an amp clamp it's going to give you a voltage reading then you just need to convert it using the scale that's on your amp clamp if you guys are using a lap scope the majority of the scopes actually have most of these amp clamps already built in so all you got to do is hit the setting for it and it does it automatically that way you don't have to do the conversion so i hope this video helps you and helps you decide on getting an amp clamp it's going to make your diags that much easier uh, a lot of people bitch and complain that it's hard to put in places and yada 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 trust me you're going to love an amp clamp use them abuse them get to know your amp clamp and i guarantee you it's going to help you with your diags i'll see you guys on the next one